I've been with the Navy for about 10 years. Been on the BAMS program for uh, about six years. The, the team is developing the ground control stations, the mission control stations for the unmanned aircraft. And the mission control system then controls both the unmanned aircraft plus the sensors on board the aircraft to, to take the pictures or the radar images of, of the targets of interest. What the unmanned system allows you to do is allow you to take those sensors and you couple it with a very efficient truck, if you will, an aircraft that can fly in excess of a day. So we can very cost effectively have that persistent coverage of the maritime environment. I know when I joined BAMS five or six years ago, I, I didn't know what to expect. I was pretty excited about the opportunity to serve on the BAMS program. But within days of joining, you could just see this chemistry that existed. BAM's team is a fun group of people to be around. Lots of uh, professionalism, very much dedicated to their work. As a leader, you understand that, hey, Jim is, uh, is really uh, dedicated to his people and interested in, in taking care of, of those around him. I spent a little over 20 years in the Army. I had the opportunity to be a company commander in Vietnam of an infantry company. That made a big impact on me and it impacted my career in the future in terms of the importance of teaming. I have the greatest respect for these kids today that are fighting in Afghanistan and in Iraq and, and what they've done for their, for their country. It's just, uh, I, I admire their dedication. I think the whole BAMS program does and that really drives us and pushes us to try to excel. Jim's legacy from both Vietnam and his legacy in the BAMS program continuing to allow warfighters to conduct their missions, do that safely, and bring everyone home safely.